um, since we've been following your approach, we've never had um, a situation where my son was shaky and sweaty. Um, why isn't this advertised as a, a main feature? Um, it seems like it's the healthy way to eat. It seems like it's the way to stop elevated blood sugars, but uh, the hypoglycemia is also something that goes away. What, uh, well, that's a, yeah, that's a good point, and I seem to slip over it, but it's the reason that I initially uh, invented blood sugar self-monitoring. I was disturbing my family and even my employers by my frequent hypoglycemia, which was several times a day I'd be uh, at, at the very least irritable and acting crazy. Uh, <laughs> And um, uh, th this is not a way to live, and it's not the thing you want to impose on those around you. So my main goal was to eliminate the hypoglycemia, and I found I could only do that by keeping my blood sugars level, which I could only do with a low-carbohydrate diet and what we call physiologic doses of insulin. The industrial doses of insulin uh, advocated by the American Diabetes Association to cover their high carbohydrate diets are not reproducible in terms of their effect on blood sugar. They're not absorbed in a predictable way uh, and so on. So you're playing with fire when you uh, use high carbohydrate and these industrial doses of insulin. And the doctors who are advocating the high blood sugars as the solution, never attempted to control blood sugars, never even learned the methods for normalizing blood sugar, because you have to start with a low carbohydrate diet. And then you take it from there with the small doses of insulin. Uh, these doctors don't know the first thing about doing that. You can be sure they've never read my book diabetes solution which introduces all of this.